Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Sophia Loren. There are a lot of great Italian actresses. I love them all, but there are really two that every film buff knows about. Gina Lollobrigida and Sophia Loren. The difference between the two is that Gina was sophisticated sexy, and Sophia, especially in her younger years, was trashy sexy. I think both have their merits. Sophia's career took off rather quick. In 1950, at just 15 years of age, she was in the Miss Italia beauty pageant. She didn't win, but in 1951 she got her first role, albeit uncredited, in a Robert Taylor film. She had several film appearances in the next two years, and even received credit for some. Her association with movie producer Carlo Ponti, beginning in 1950, played a big part in this. In 1953, Carlo changed her name and public image to Sophia Loren. She had been going by Sophia Lazaro. Just like that, she got her first starring role in the film Ada, for which she received critical acclaim. Now she was a star. It's important to state that Carlo Ponti became her husband in 1957. Except for a four-year period where they were separated in the 1960s, they stayed together until his death in 2007. Carlo was 21 years her senior and already an established filmmaker before Sophia came along. It would be naive to say that this didn't help her career. She did, however, have enough sex appeal and personality to keep moviegoers interested. Sophia became an international star in 1958 when she signed with Paramount Pictures for a five-picture deal. By 1961, she was one of the biggest stars in the world when she got paid $1 million to appear in the Charlton Heston film El Cid. The 1960s was her decade, and she was in a lot of successful films. She was still a name in the 1970s, and continued working steadily, but she had become more distinguished. She still had sex appeal, but she wasn't the trashy young ingenue anymore. In the early 1980s, she became quite enterprising. In 1981, she became the first female celebrity to launch her own perfume, Sophia. She quickly followed that up with a line of eyewear. Nowadays, it's common for celebrities to have their own perfumes and colognes, but Sophia was the first woman to do it. In the 80s and 90s, she acted infrequently, but she did do some cool things during this time period. I thought she was fantastic in the 1995 comedy film Grumpier Old Men. The back and forth between her and Walter Matthau? Classic. Sophia Loren has certainly earned her place as a babe of the day. Babe of the day.